Yo, what's going on guys, Mortexer here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to turn your ISO files into bat files so you can launch them just by an executable file. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need two pieces of software, so we're gonna go straight onto the internet. The first one that you're gonna need is Slimbat2x. So Slimbat2 executable, you can find it on the website here, I will leave the link down below. And then the second piece of software you want is basically online. So you're not gonna download it, but you need the website. And that is the ICO converter. I'll leave both links in the description down below. Firstly, what we need to do is we need to open a notepad. So this is gonna look a bit confusing, but I'm gonna to explain to you why we need this. So we need to know where our PS2 emulator is actually kept. Now mine is kept on my E drive, it's here, we'll get it up. So we need to define where this is kept. So it's in the E file and it's the actual folder for the PC SX2. So we define this by putting this in here. And we need to put these explanation marks at either side, that'll become really important later because that will create the bat file. Now, next thing we need to do is find where the game is that we're looking to create an executable file for. So, this is just a template I like to use, but we're actually going to go into the games and we're going to go on to SSX Tricky. So, we need to copy the exact name of what the ISO is called. So, what I like to do is just rename it. We'll click on properties to make sure and then we'll just click click it as this. I normally just like to rename it just because it's a tiny bit easier and makes life a lot more easier. So we'll just call it SSX Tricky. We'll copy that also because we need that and then we'll, we'll press OK. So all we're going to do now is delete this and we are going to paste this in SSX Tricky. There we go. And then we need to save the file now. So we're going to go into File going to go to save as and then in here we need to actually save it what we're going to call the bat file so we need to save it as the iso file name so basically it's really easy just copy and paste that instead of putting iso we create that as a bat so that's going to go straight into the desktop we press save and then you will see something pop up right here so we don't need the notepad anymore we can get rid of that this is the bat file that we've created that will turn into an executable file. So we're going to put that there. So I'm going to show you something really quickly. So we're going to go into the slim bat executable. We will run this. Now we go into Windowless Express. This sorts it all out for you it's really quickly. You haven't got to mess about doing anything at all. So we click on that. And then we click onto SSX Tricky. We open this up and the bat file has been created. Now, when we do this, I'm gonna launch the game and it should launch the emulator straight away. So there we go. It's launched the PSX2 emulator and we've got SSX running. So that's how we do that. But it looks a bit ugly, doesn't it? You think, well, you want your executable file to have a little file icon. So this is where we're going to go back to the second piece of software that I said you needed at the start of the video. Now you will need an image for this. I've just got a typical SSX tricky cover. So, and all I've named it is SSX. Pretty simple, pretty basic. So what we need to do now is we need to go onto the ICO converter. We'll choose the file really quickly. Where is our SSX? Let's get it up if we can find it. SSX, there we go. And now we will upload it. So we're gonna upload it. There we go. And now all we want to do is actually we want to go onto the custom size, which is this one. And then we want to convert ICO. So we're gonna do this really quickly. And then we will download the icon. So it's gonna download it. We're gonna open it up where it is. So we'll cut that straight away. So we're gonna paste it onto the desktop now. There it is. It turns it into a paint format, which is what we need. 
Now, this is a crucial thing that you need to remember. You need to rename this file from what it is called on the bat file. So, let's just do this. We'll copy this really quickly. So remember, you can't change the ICO. You don't need to put I, you don't need to change that to bat. If you change that to bat, it will not work. So all we're doing is changing the front part of the name. So we rename it. Now we call it SSX Tricky. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back into the Slimline bat executable file. We're gonna click on this and it automatically will detect the image. So we're gonna go on Windowsless Expression expression i can't even say that word and we're going to go on to ssx open and there you go as you can see it has found that image automatically so all we're going to do now is click on exit and there we have it there we have our own ssx tricky executable file so you don't have to run it through the emulator anymore if you're bored of doing it that way or if it's just becoming a tedious process for you this way is a lot easier and if you've got a favorite emulator game that you're playing at the moment that be on the ps2 or the dreamcast you can have this icon on the desktop ready to go It's not just the PC SX2 emulator, pretty much any emulator, as long as you can create a bat file for it, you can convert it, then you will get this executable file. So that's a really quick and short tutorial guys for you to show how you can get them executable files created so you don't have to keep loading them iso files through the emulator don't forget guys if you do like this kind of content please like rate and subscribe i am trying to grow the channel as much as possible i have got videos down below for you as well some different videos we're branching out to doing different kind of things on the channel as well but as always guys don't forget stay safe and I will see you all soon.